Terroir is a term that describes a sense of place. Quite often, people use that term and it refers to uh, physical, static things. The history, the geology, the climate. Here, the ground is an ancient sea and then an ancient lake and then a beautiful mixed forest that was here at one time. Even within this sub-appellation of creek shores, there's interesting little pockets, beautiful soils that create healthy vines that express themselves in the wine. And I've come to learn over time how important the human touch, the people, the winemaker, is part of terroir. There's a saying in the grape industry that the best fertilizer in a vineyard is the footprint of the grower. And certainly our winemaker, Jean-Pierre Colas, is, thinks that's really a key. He makes his decisions in the winery based on what he tastes and feels in the vineyard. There's that intuitive sense that is part of terroir, and it's expressed here in the Creek Shores Appalachian beautifully. Two thousand and eighteen is a big year, both for Woody Farms and for 13th Street Winery. For Woody Farms, we celebrate 110 years since my grandfather started the farm in 1908, and 20 years since 13th Street Winery was established in 1998. It was four award-winning amateur winemakers that started it, and it was a passion, and, and I really give them a lot of credit because they set the table for us in terms of the focus in our products, which is Gamay as a full-bodied red, which was not done too much before the 13th Street started doing that, as well as traditional method sparkling wine. Those are two key products that I really give the founders of 13th Street a lot of credit for identifying as something that belongs here in this terroir and in this market that we can do well consistently, and we've tried to build on that. We're doing it on a larger scale, but we haven't lost sight of their focus, which is our focus now, which is to remain vigilant in terms of the quality of the wines we produce and the experience we offer. When people come to 13th Street, we hope to cultivate a sense of discovery and then a, a feeling of decompression, of relaxation and, and openness. The art is an important part of what we do here. It's an expression of life. We like to create that sense of exploring, creating, enjoying. I think it's really important that food and wine is part of our culture now in a way that it perhaps was not in the past. Wine was seen not as a food product, but as an alcoholic drink. Whereas now, together in moderation, it enhances life and it's interesting. To us, a wine experience is a life experience. It embraces the baking, the art, the landscape. It's about life and making it better. <laughs>